Is this what you want? Is this what you want? All right, whatever. You guys, you guys are in charge. Seriously, if you, I've had so much feedback saying, go back to Black Ops 3. I want Black Ops 3. I want Black Ops 3. If you care so much that you want me to play Black Ops 3 regularly, I want you guys to shoot for 10,000 likes. I know, I know. I haven't gotten 10,000 likes on a video in ages. But if you guys, seriously, you, you guys are in control of this. You guys are in control of this. If you want me to keep playing Black Ops 3, hit like get 10,000 likes who knows it might happen it might not you guys it is in your hands look at this dude testy's already playing bo3 no but seriously i know there'll be at least 25,000 people who watch this video probably because you know they see that black ops 3 thumbnail they're they're clicking instantly so if you want this you came here for a reason make it happen why is there so many gravity spikes wow okay you know, first game on, I'm surprised. I'm honestly surprised there's no Master Prestigers. There's quite a bit of low-level people. I'm kind of a cool thing, but, you know, can sometimes be bad. So the way that these servers work... Oh, God, this is weird. No aim assist. So one thing with the servers on this game, if it doesn't recognize there's enough DLC lobbies, I believe that it'll automatically put you in a non map pack lobby. I'm guessing that's what I'm in. I don't feel like I should be playing this game right now. My sensitivity is a little lower. I feel like I'm doing something illegal. Black Ops 3 has by far been one of my favorite Call of Duties ever. I don't know what it is. It's the fact that this game takes a challenge. You know, with all the movement, with no aim assist, you, you gotta be good. You gotta be accurate. There's no gimmies unless you play safeguard. There's no way to just instantly... You can't pick up a controller and just be good at this game. You gotta get used to it. You gotta practice. You gotta... You gotta be good. Not only that, but this game visually is very appealing. Compared to Infinite Warfare and COD 4 Remastered, I don't know what it is. If it's the colors, if it's just the model of the game, they aren't appealing on the eyes. But this game, I mean, Nuketown, it's a little more vibrant than your average map. But this game is just so good. And it takes me back to the video I made about Call of Duty. And I kind of talked about like what was going on with the new games. I wasn't having that much fun while playing them. A little bit as Chain says, I mean, I got the Harbinger on Infinite Warfare, which makes the game actually a little bit more enjoyable to the extent of wanting to play it all the time. But COD 4 Remastered, I mean, there's nothing new with the game. It's the same game that it used to be, I mean, minus Clad, but it's not new to me. It's not exciting to me. Sure, I could play it and have a good time, but there's nothing that I'm trying to do on that game that, you know, hasn't been done before. Infinite Warfare had so much potential. I I was actually a little bit hyped for it. You know, Black Ops 3, everyone saw boosters, everyone was scared, and this game was amazing. So I didn't want to lose hope. You know, I played it for a while, and it was kind of like, you know, this this isn't Black Ops 3. That, that's what it was. Not only that, is we don't have Vondi. Vondi has always been there for the community. I mean, minus the whole patching the DSR thing. You know, you know, we'll never, we'll never forgive him for that. But I have, I honestly miss that bald-headed man. I miss him being the guy for the newest Call of Duty. But on the bright side, they're still bringing more stuff to Black Ops 3. They've brought new weapons ever, even since the new Call of Duties came out. It was even rumored about a new map pack. I don't know if that's actually going to happen. But, you know, it was just it was just a rumor. And if that happens, we, we might just have to play it. I just I just stared at a quad. I, I don't know. I might have just looked at a quad, but I can't tell because I'm dead. I'm going to give Fracture a try. I really don't know how this is going to go. I don't even know if we're going to find lobbies. If Fracture is actually a thing, and it might kind of be a sniper lobby because Fracture was the thing to play before Black Ops 3 went out. But if we find normal lobbies with Fracture, that would actually be super clutch. One thing I want to point out about Infinite Warfare and COD 4, not even COD 4, because it's just Infinite Warfare. It's kind of both. Watch this. You press triangle, you go over to manage party, right? This is where you would see people who can join your game, who's in your lobby. Party privacy. You see this Infinite Warfare? Do you see this? Do you see? You should add this. Every single Call of Duty has this feature. I sit in Infinite Warfare lobbies at the main menu. I go away for just a couple minutes. I come back and my party is flooded. Like, I, I love the fans. I'm glad that, you know, they can get a kick out of it. But they don't stop. They do not stop joining. It's so frustrating. Please fix that. I doubt there's anybody who's watching from Infinite Warfare, but 
Oh my gosh. That is one of the reasons why I don't want to play that game sometimes. Last night, I played Infinite Warfare for about three hours straight, right? You know, going through a lot of lobbies, seeing a lot of people. And, you know, one or two people happen to see that, you know, that they were in a game with me. They join my session. They get their friends in there. And before you know it, their whole squad is in my lobby screaming. Another reason why Black Ops 3 is so good. But I'm actually pretty sure when Black Ops 3 came out, but for not as long as it is on Infant Warfare, they didn't have that feature. All right, one sniper. Not a sniper. Not a sniper. Not a sniper. Not a sniper. Hey, look at this. Oh, sniper on the other team. Okay. I, I was wrong about my team. It looks like maybe we got... Okay, L7... That dude's probably sniping. That dude's probably sniping. Okay, a little split quad feed there. That's actually really nice. Please, just click. Do it. Do it, L7 kid. The whole game, we're just going to sit right here and watch these guys run into our spawn. My kryptonite is playing against snipers. It is. I hate playing against snipers. It, it, you know, it's ironic because I'm a sniper. It's so unpredictable when you play against snipers because you never know when you're going to die. You never know when you're going to get hit off a clip. You just, it's so aggravating. Not only that, is the snipers jump around like little bunny rabbits when they get into 1v1 with you. They will literally just sit there hopping like this. It doesn't matter how many shots they miss because all they're trying to do is evade your shot. Okay. Hey, what up? What up? What up, YouTube? What up? Insane fury kill right there, boys. So, Fracture. Eh. I, I, I honestly didn't have a good time playing Fracture. Imagine. There's a guy over that wall, but there's no way I was getting up that high. It's funny how people complain about the Infinite Warfare time to kill. When really it seems about the same as Black Ops 3 is just something to complain about. Look at this. Like I can't do you give up. You can't even kill me. You give up on sniping because you're so bad. You have to use your. Oh my god. I hate playing against snipers. That was a decent DLC lobby too. I just got a DLC TDM. I went like. I went off. Look at this. I went 37 and 8. I had a 20 kill streak and I was going in and I freaking died. Since I've been gone on Black Ops 3, they actually brought this new gun in. I don't even know how to describe it. It just shoots this weird like spinning blade. I'm sure you might have seen Agony use it. But anyways, it shoots like this spinning blade that bounces off everything and it can go through enemies. I don't know. It seems kind of cool. Ooh, I like this map. Oh no! I was going over for the. Oh, that was a clay hit marker. Oh my god. I love this map. I'm hyped again. I was mad, but now I'm good. Getting frame rate lag though. I don't know why. Why am I getting frame rate lag? Please stop. I'm getting frame rate lag until I die. The second I die, it goes back to normal. And now I'm back to raging. This game is a little bit more rage induced than Infinite Warfare, surprisingly. Infinite Warfare seems like a more fast-paced game, which is really cool. Black Ops 3, there's a lot of running back. It just seems like it's kind of a little bit slower. You know, some people might like that, but as I'm sitting here playing, I do really like how fast-paced Infinite Warfare is. It might, you know, kind of throw you back if you're trying to, like, streak and stuff. It seems like there's a lot more campers on this game. A lot more people just sitting back waiting for you to come to them in a way after playing this game it kind of has a little bit res more respect for infinite warfare for me just you know i can see some like pros and cons already it's just as far as like the gameplay goes visually black ops 3 is better you know it's just an all-around more solid game infinite warfare i don't even think infinite warfare was honestly finished when they released it i mean they made a beta for the game what like weeks before the game release like there's nothing you're gonna be able to even test or change uh, in the game other than maybe like servers you're not gonna be able to 
I don't, I mean, I'm not, I don't do coding or anything, but I feel like that's not enough time to change major flaws in the game. Let alone, they don't even have a leaderboards or combat record. And what, what is it? It's January? It is January. It's been two months since this game came out and you can't make a leaderboards. It is what it is though. I'm down to do whatever you guys want to see from me more. I will switch it up. I'll have a lot of different content. You know, I've been playing a little less remastered lately and more just Infinite Warfare. So might do some BO3 IW combo. I don't know. Let me know what you guys want specifically. You know, if it's like a combo, if it's series on one game, let me know. And if you guys really want me to go back to BO3 to have it become a regular thing, hit 10,000 likes. Do it. I dare you guys. I, I believe. I believe in the dirt ball. So thank you guys for watching the video. And I will catch you guys tomorrow. Remember, stay positive. This is dirty. I'm out. That guy was invisible. That guy was invisible. I'm going to play it back for you. Look at this dude. I don't know if he's cheating. Is he hacking? He, w he was invisible on my screen. He was invisible. Why was that guy invisible? <laughs>